Good morning. Welcome back. Time now, 712. Another segment of Fraud Fighters this morning. We're talking about something, frauds that can affect you and your family. We're talking with uh, Evie Owen with AARP Alabama. Good morning. Morning. All right, we want to get into the Medicard scam. What is yeah. that? Or so, the Medicare card scam, excuse me. <laughs> That's right. So last year, Medicare sent out new cards, issued new cards to all of their um, beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, we saw a lot of scams pop up around that because people would call and say, oh, you need to activate your new card. Give mm -hmm. us the card number. Or you could upgrade your card to a plastic card which did not exist right. if you just give us your credit card information. Um, so that's that Medicare card scam. So what does a Medicare services fraud look like? That's the big one. It's been around for a long time. So a lot of times it involves somebody calling and saying that you are eligible for free equipment or free service um, or also just rogue agents that get your Medicare number and then charge fraudulently to your Medicare card number. So how can you tell if someone contacting you is part of a scam? Well, the thing to remember is that, number one, Medicare will not call you unless you have initiated the contact. So if you left a message with them, you've um, gone online and said that you need to talk to somebody, then they'll call you. But unless you've initiated it, they're not going to call you and ask for your information. Mm -hmm. And also, any uh, services that Medicare provides, they require a full doctor's prescription for that service. Mm -hmm. So if somebody calls and tells you that you're eligible for something free, unless they're a doctor, that's not true. Okay, so what are some things people should or shouldn't do to protect themselves? Yeah. So the three biggest things you can do to protect yourself is do hang up. If you get a call randomly from somebody saying that they're with Medicare, do hang up. Don't, don't listen to them. The second thing, the biggest thing is check your explanation of benefits or your Medicare summary notices. Depending on which provider you have, they may come to you monthly, they may come every three months, or they may come as you get them. Um, but that will show you everything that you've been charged for, all the doctors you've seen. You need to call Medicare, you need to call the fraud line and let them know about it and start that. Um, and the third thing is to sign up online for a My Medicare account online. You can see all those things in real time. You can see your explanation benefits in real time, see your prescription fills in real time, and check your information. What about things you shouldn't Don't be do. doing? Right. So just like we say with other personal information, do not give out your Medicare number to anyone other than your providers, your trusted providers, your doctor, your pharmacist. pharmacist. Um, it's just like your Social Security number. It's just like your credit card number. Protect it with your life and uh, don't give it out over the phone especially. Also, just like we talked about with the new Medicare cards that came out um, mm -hmm. last year, don't give out your old card to anyone. So there were some scams that went around that said, hey, you'll want to send us mm -hmm. your old card. Don't do that. It still has your information on there. We recommend that you shred it with a micro shredder or cut it up with scissors until it's unrecognizable. Excellent advice to keep yourself safe from Medicare fraud. Evie Owen with AARP of Alabama. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Fraud Fighters.